Agent K-7 returns. Adventurer K-7, former United States secret agent who operated in 22 countries on land, on sea, and in the air, brings you a story of today. We take you to secret agent K-7's headquarters. This is K-7 speaking. Send in special agent Z for assignment. At once, K-7. Special agent Z reporting for duty. Agent Z, I have just received a report from Operative L-6, who is in the Orient. A spy named Franz Robita, who has caused a great deal of trouble out there, sailed for this port recently. According to L-6's information, Robita is coming here under the direct orders of the military group, which controls the government of the aggressor in the Far East. He will undoubtedly work with agents of a certain European power when he reaches here. His ship docks today. Here is his picture and record. Check on his activities. Keep me informed. That afternoon, the spy, Franz Robida, landed. Both his luggage and his person received unusually close attention from the customs officials. They found nothing. However, one fact proved that K-7's suspicions were well-grounded. A large black sedan waited for him and took him to his hotel. Agent Z and Pat watched from their car. Well, Pat, we're fortunate in one thing. He's stopping at the Savoy. Yes, they're unloading his luggage. Well, is the man with the pipe in his mouth. The one talking to the driver? Yes. Well, Pat, take the wheel of this car. All right. I want you to follow the black sedan that brought him to the hotel. Find out where it goes, and then get in touch with me through K-7. I'm leaving you here. Right. He's still talking to the driver, Z. Yes, and in just a minute, I'll know what he's saying. And you see the doorman standing at his side? Yes. Well, that's Henry. He's been at the Savoy for years. He's also with Scotland Yard. All right, Pat. The other car is pulling away. Follow it. Hello, Henry. Agent Z. Did you notice the man who just came in the black sedan? Yes, sir. Anything suspicious? Why, no, sir. He told the driver to give his employer his compliments and asked him if he would have dinner with him here tonight. And the answer... Well, the driver of the car said uh, that his employer had already instructed him to say he would come here between 8 and 9 tonight, sure. sir. Well, keep your eyes and ears open, Henry. The man who got out of the car and went into register is a spy. His name is Franz Robita. Agent Z entered the hotel and talked with the manager. A few minutes later, two electricians arrived from Scotland Yard and installed some special equipment. Shortly after nine that night, Robida received his visitor. The two went immediately to the almost deserted grill room. A table for two, please. Uh, that one over there, that is quiet. I am very sorry, sir. That particular table is engaged. 
If you will take this one in the corner here. Yeah? Well, it will be all right. If you will bring us some wine, please. Uh, Napoleon Solera, vintage of 1896. At once, sir. You know how to order, my friend. Thank you, Excellency. You had no trouble landing. I, uh, I am not sure. They found nothing, if that is what you mean. Yet the customs men went through my luggage and my person much more thoroughly than is usual. Hmm. Peculiar. No one knew you were coming. Uh, it might have been my imagination. It has been a long trip, and I am carrying a document of the utmost importance that must be delivered directly to your leader. The document is safe? Yes. You did not leave it in your room? It is safe, Excellency. I prefer not to reveal how it is carried. I do not trust even this place. Of course, you're quite right. Now, tomorrow morning I will cross the channel. In three days I will return. I understand I am to work with you. Yes, there is much to be done here. Recently there have been many buildings dynamited in this country. Others have been blamed. But we have been responsible for much of the destruction. The work is to go on. Yes. This country must be kept so busy with its affairs at home, it will not have time to intervene in other parts of the world. Our campaign is to tie in with the one in the east. And in this week... Whom are you watching? That girl who is near the door. It may be only a coincidence, but I saw her at the dock this afternoon. She was talking with a customs official who examined my luggage. So? She may have followed me here. Hmm. Well, there's a way of finding out. You stay here at the table. I'm going to make a telephone call. You are leaving, sir? Why don't you go to the telephone? Where is the nearest one? Through this door to your left, sir. Thank you. Hello? Hello, Hans? I am at the Savoy with Robida. We believe a girl has followed him here. In a few minutes, we will leave the hotel and drive to the suburbs. The usual place. If the girl follows us, seize her. You know what to do. Be ready to act in half an hour. A little later, both men left the hotel. As they suspected she would, Pat followed them, using the car she and Agent Z had used in the afternoon. The spy, and the one whom he called Excellency, drove to the outskirts and stopped their car. Pat also stopped, an eighth of a mile behind. As she did, a man stepped to the side of her car. I wonder why they've stopped here. They've come out here to talk. These plans will fail. <gasps> Who are you? That does not matter, mademoiselle. If you're attempting to hold me up... It is not a hold-up. Hey, you will move over. I will drive your car. Now move. You will feel this gun. What are you going to do? I am going to get in with you. Now don't try to reach for your gun. Where are you taking me? You will learn that soon enough. Give me your gun. I... I haven't one. There you lie. Give me your bag. Ah, I thought so. Now, sit quiet. If you attempt to get out or to call to anyone, I think you know what will happen. Pat disappeared into the night. A few minutes later, the spy and his companion returned to the hotel. The next morning, the spy, Robita, left his room. As he stepped into the hallway, he found Agent Z waiting for him. What are you doing outside my door? If you had waited a minute more, you'd have found out, Robita. Step back into your room. What do you mean by pointing that gun at me? Step back into your room, I said. Put your hands over your head. Yeah, that's better. Now turn around. All right. Arms down behind you. Move. Yeah, those handcuffs on. I know you won't try anything. Now sit down on this straight chair and answer my question. What do you want to know? Where is Miss Norwood? I do not know what you are talking about. Now, don't lie. It won't do you any good. You've been followed since the minute you entered this hotel. When the man from your council called on you last night, there was a dictaphone under the table in the grill room. Records were made of everything you said. I do not believe you. Your companion has already been seized by the guard. Now, I ask you again, where is Miss Norwood? I, I do not know. Then we'll stay here until a report comes in. 
I want to look this room over. There is nothing here. Nothing except the document which you were going to deliver to your leader. Oh, do you want me to take that pipe out of your mouth? You can't smoke with your hands behind you. Uh, wait, wait. You, you have caught me. Light my pipe for me, and I I will tell you where the document is. Mm. If you have heard anything, there is no use of my bluffing. Well, I thought you'd come to your senses, Rubita. Is the pipe filled? Uh, yes, yes. We will just hold a match, please. Uh, here you are. Ah, oh, thank you. Hey, wait a minute. Give me that pipe. Hey, what are you doing? Do not take it out of my mouth. Robito, you've had that pipe in your mouth every time I've seen you. How does it happen there are no ashtrays in this room? But this is a hotel room. The, the maid did not leave one. I don't believe you. When I started to put down this match I lighted your pipe with, I discovered there was no ashtray. A man who smokes a pipe constantly would knock it out in an ashtray. I think I'll empty your pipe now. No, no, let me smoke Wait. it. Just as I thought, a folded message on thin paper in the bottom of your pipe. This is your secret document. A few puffs and you would have burned the evidence against you. It's no use, Rubita. I arrest you as a spy. But, Pat... K-7 found me, Lee. Huh? I came here. I heard your voice from outside. Have you found the secret document? Yes, Rubita carried it in his pipe. At the first sign of danger, he could have burned it. And the case is closed, Pat. <laughs> Robita is under arrest. A secret document was seized and decoded. It was of the utmost importance. Seven persons, including a high member of another country's consulate staff, are under arrest. Robita will face the firing squad. There are many tricks used by spies to carry messages. You will hear of others in future stories. A successful spy must not only know how to get information he must also send that information to his superiors. Sometimes the latter is his most difficult assignment. Listen for my next story. This is K-7 speaking. (laughs) 